Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 Media and I'm going to tell you how to create custom fields and taxonomies in order to save extra data about your WooCommerce products. I'm also going to show you an easy way to display that extra data about your products on your website. Um, and the way to do this uh, without having to change any code or template files is to use a plugin called WooCommerce Product Table, which allows you to display your products in a list on your website, along with the extra custom fields and taxonomies. So it's a great way of storing extra data about your products. Um, just before we start, I'll talk you through the difference between custom fields and taxonomies, um, just so that you know which one to use when. So a custom field is used to store arbitrary one-off information about a product. Um, so if that information is only about one product, like a unique identifier number or something like that, then that's what you would want. Whereas if you wanted to um, group information about multiple products, then you would use a custom taxonomy. So a taxonomy is kind of like an extra sort of type of category or tag where you would um, give multiple products the same term within your taxonomy. And then you might create filters or something like that to let people view all the products with that taxonomy. So custom fields are unique, taxonomies aren't. And let's get started. We're going to um, use two free plugins to create our WooCommerce custom fields and taxonomies. And I'll just show you them installed on my website. Most of these plugins you can ignore, but the two that you want are Advanced Custom Fields. This is a free plugin to create custom fields for your WooCommerce products. So install Advanced Custom Fields just by Plugins, Add New, um, and you'll find it in the directory if you want custom fields. If you want custom taxonomies, then instead you would use the custom post type UI plugin. Again, you'd go to plugins, add new, search for custom post type UI and install it in the usual way. So those are the two plugins that you'll need, either of them or both, depending on whether you want custom fields or taxonomies. So first I'm going to show you how to create a custom field for your WooCommerce products using the advanced custom fields plugin. So let's go to the custom fields section. So this is added to the left of the admin by the advanced custom fields plugin. And once you're there, you need to add a new field group. So I'm going to pretend that I'm creating a used clothing store and I'm going to store a custom field to describe the condition of each of my products. So I'm going to call the field group um, used clothing. Um, nobody will see that, that's just for your internal purposes. And the location section down here, this is really important. You need to change post type. So show this field group if post type is equal to product. So that's your WooCommerce products. And if you have WooCommerce installed on your website, then you'll have product visible in the drop down. So this is what tells the advanced custom fields plugin to show your custom field on the WooCommerce products. Um, otherwise, it will just apply to your blog post or something like that, which isn't what you want. So you want it for products. Next, you need to create the actual custom fields. So you click the blue add field button and I'm going to call my label condition and it automatically creates a name. Now, this bit is really important because you're going to need this a bit later on in order to display the condition on the website within your product table. So just remember this, that the lowercase um, field name, you're going to need that later. Um, I'm going to have it as a text field because I'm going to use it to describe unique information about the condition of each product. And there are more options that you can use if needed, but they're the essential ones. And then you click Publish. So let's go to one of our products now. I'm just going to go to the Edit screen for a product. And I'm going to scroll down to see that it has added my custom field. So here we go, Condition. So a custom field appears in the main section, the main column of your edit page for your products. So when you go to add or edit a product, if you've got a custom field for that product post type, then it will appear here. And I'm just going to add some information to it now. So I'm going to write good use condition, small hole near collar, whatever you want. And then I'm going to save my product. So that's how you create a custom field for a WooCommerce product and add data to that custom field. 
Next, we're going to do the same for a custom taxonomy. So we're going to create that using the custom post type UI plugin that I talked to you about earlier. So that's added this link on the left of the admin, CPT UI, which you need to click now. And then you need to go to post type slug and um, no, you don't. Sorry, I've gone in the wrong bit. So you want to go CPT UI and then add edit taxonomies. You're not creating a new post type because WooCommerce products are actually already a post type within WordPress. So you don't need to use this top section at all. What you want is add edit taxonomies. And the custom post type UI plugin lets you add taxonomies to an existing post type, including WooCommerce products, which is what we want. So let's add a new taxonomy. I'm going to call my taxonomy color. And again, this taxonomy slug is the bit you need to remember later. You need, I'm going to use the English spelling because I'm English. You need to um, remember this because that's how you will display it on your website within the table, along with any custom fields and other product data that you want. So color is the same singular and plural. I suppose it's colours, but nobody would really use that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So you add a singular and a plural label, which just appears in the admin, so your customers won't see that. And then you need to attach it to the post type products. Again, that's essential to make it appear for your WooCommerce products. So I've saved that taxonomy. I'm going to go back to my product that I added a custom field to earlier, and I'm going to refresh the page to see the taxonomy of added. Now, unlike a custom field, which appears in the main column, a taxonomy appears on the right because it functions differently and is more like product categories and tags. So I've just added the one called colors. See, colors is the plural label I added. And so now I can add a color. So I'm going to say that this t-shirt is great because it is, and then I add it. And you can add as many taxonomies as you like. It's just like tags. Um, there we are, product tags. It's just the same. So it's an additional way of grouping information about WooCommerce products. So I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to add the custom field and taxonomy data for all my other products, which you don't need to see me doing. And then we will continue and I'll show you how to display them on your website. Okay, so I have now added the custom field and taxonomy information for all of my t-shirt products in my used clothes stores. So the next thing to do is to create a table uh, which will list all of these products with the extra data that we need to store. As you probably know, the standard WooCommerce shop page and category archives do not display things like custom fields and taxonomies, and you need to uh, customize your templates to do this. So the easy way to do um, a display that data without any customization is to use the plugin WooCommerce product table. I'll just show you it in the admin and um, you can get it from our website, barn2.co.uk. So the plugin you need is WooCommerce product table. Um, and I'll show you how to use it now. So go to pages, add new, or if you want, you can put it on an existing page and we're going to call it uh, product table, doesn't really matter. Right, so to use the product table plugin, you need to add a short code to your page. And the way you add the short code affects what is displayed in the table. So I'm going to show you how to create a product table using the short code, which will display columns for name a custom field called color and a taxonomy called, no, it's the other way around, sorry. I'm going to use columns for name, a custom field called condition, where I'm going to, where I've added a bespoke description of the condition of my used t-shirts. And I'm also going to have a taxonomy called color. And I want price columns and add to cart buttons. So I'm going to show you how to create the short code to do all of that. So we start with open square brackets, just like any short code in WordPress. And we want to write products underscore table, and then a space. And then you write columns equals, and then in quotation marks, you need to list the columns that you want. So the ones I want are name, and that will show me the product name, which is the main name that you'd add up there in the add product page. And then I want to display a custom field. So I'm going to write CF colon. That tells the plugin that I'm displaying a custom field here. And my custom field is called condition. Then another comma. 
Next, I want to display a custom taxonomy, the one I created earlier. So to do that, I'm going to write tax colon, and to, then I want to write color, because that's the name of my custom taxonomy. And this is the custom field name that we created earlier, condition, and this is the taxonomy slug. So when we created our custom field and custom taxonomy using the two plugins I mentioned earlier in this video, um, that's the data that we created there. So that's how product table knows to display those custom fields and taxonomies. So next we add another comma, and like I said, I want to add columns for price, and I want add to cart buttons, which is add dash to dash cart. And I'm gonna close my quotation marks, and I'm going to close my short code with closed square brackets. So let's publish the page and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna to go to view page. So this is my product table. Now I forgot to do something vital, which is tell it which category to display. Now you probably don't need to do this because if you're displaying all your products in the table, then you don't need to display a specific category. But because this is our plugin demo site, we've got loads of different categories. So I want category 88 to display. Um, you can get 88 from the, you know, the products category section. When you um, click on the URL to edit a category, you'll see um, the number of the category right up in the URL of the top. So it was like a totally random string of information, but you'll find a number and that is your category ID, which is that. And you can also use the category slug, which is probably easier to find if you want to show specific categories. So I want to show category number 88. So I'm going to update and then I'm going to refresh my table again. So that was all my products. This is just my t-shirts, which are the ones that I've added my custom field and taxonomies for. So here we've got a product table with all of the columns that I wanted. We've got name, we've got my custom field, which is condition, and you can see the different custom fields that I added. So they're all unique to the product, which is why I added them as a custom field and not a taxonomy. We've then got our custom taxonomy, which is colors. Now you can see that the table is treating them slightly differently. I can sort by either, but taxonomy is appearing as a link. And that is because I can click on a taxonomy to filter by that taxonomy to find different products. Because taxonomies are used for grouping, whereas custom fields aren't, that's why you can sort by taxonomy. And so that's the difference. And because I can sort by taxonomy, I'm also gonna show you how to add a filter above the table for my color taxonomies. So let's do that now. We go back to the page with the product table short code and within the square brackets, I'm going to add a space and then I'm going to write filters equals. And now there's a few options here. You could write filters equals true, which will tell the plugin to display all possible filters. And I'll show you that first. So now we've got a filter. If we had categories in our table or tags or something else that was filterable, there would also be filters for those. So if you ever add filters equals true and there's more than you expect in it, then that would be why, um, because you've also displaying things like categories and tags, which you can have filters for. But we've only got filterable taxonomy here, so that's why we only have the one filter. So that's how you do it. If you did have stuff you didn't want in there, then what you could do is filters equals tax color. So it's exactly the same syntax here as we've got here for the column names, but that just tells it to display that category filter instead. So I'll refresh again, but it's not actually gonna change anything because that was our only filter in the first place. And so that's another thing you can do with it. So there are many more options with WooCommerce product table. Uh, you can display multiple custom fields, multiple taxonomies, multiple filters, as I said. Um, you can disable these links or you can have them linked through to the single product page. You can disable the links to the single product page completely so that you can't click through in this way. You can change the columns. You don't have to have an add to cart column. You can change the column names, how many rows per page. There's tons of options, um, all of which you configure within the WooCommerce product table shortcode. 
So have a look at the knowledge base that um, comes with the plugin. And um, I hope this tutorial's got you started with creating custom fields and taxonomies for WooCommerce and how to display them on a page without having to edit any of your template files or do any coding. I hope that was helpful for you. You can get WooCommerce product table on our website, barn2.co.uk, and the plugins I mentioned for creating your custom fields and taxonomies, which were advanced custom fields and custom post type UI, are both free plugins available in the WordPress plugin directory. So that's how to get any of the free plugins that I've talked about. So get in touch if you need any support in getting WooCommerce product table set up, because when you get the plugin, it comes with a full year of support and updates. And um, I hope you get on well with your new product tables.